examination is an effective tool in reproductive health. It aids in early detection of any abnormality occurring in the breast and its surrounding tissues. Hello everyone, welcome to this edition on Body Gist. In this edition, we want to talk about how to perform self-breast examination. Yes, self-breast examination, an examination you can do on your own. If you are just joining us on Body Gist, click on the subscribe button so that you do not get missed out anytime we upload new videos. You can do well to drop your questions and your comments in the comment section. We shall attend to it. Follow us on all our other platforms. We are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am Sister Augusta Ozo, a sister of St. Louis and your nurse midwife. Do not go away. We shall be right back. Self-breast examination is an examination done by an individual on self. It involves the skill of looking, which is observing. Then you need your hands to touch and feel the breast. How is self-breast examination performed? When is the appropriate time to perform this breast examination? And what is needed to perform this examination? Self-breast examination is advisable to be done once a month. This is because to avoid overstimulation of the breast tissues. A woman who is still menstruating is advised to do her examination around the third to fifth day of her menstrual cycle. And a woman who has stopped menstruating, who has attained menopause, is advised to choose a particular day, preferably the first day in the month, to do her examination. This examination is the cheapest and easiest form of breast examination done. Self-breast examination is done in three phases. The first phase is a woman standing in front of the mirror. While she is in front of the mirror, she ensures that the upper part of her body is exposed like this. Then she stands with her hands by her side. After she places her hands by her side, she observes for the color of the breast, the size of the breast, the shape of the breast. Is there any dimpling around on the skin of the breast? Are there rashes on the breast or scales forming around the breast? After she has observed all this, she places her hand on her head and observes the same as she has observed why the hands were placed down. Then she brings down her hands and places it on her waist and does the same observation. If she notices any of this, it is advisable she notes it down for further report and review to her physician. The second type of examination is done while a woman is lying flat on the bed in supine position. That means that the face is face, the woman is facing up. She can begin with any of the breasts. If she chooses to begin with the right breast, she places her right hand at the back of her head while she's still lying down and use the left hand to palpate around her breast in circular motion until she gets to the nipple. The third type of examination is done when a woman has just finished taking her bath when her body is still wet and sleeping. This is a good time to do examination because the hand can glide smoothly around the skin tissues. Why she does that, she also observes for what she has observed while she was lying down. Now you know how to perform a self-breast examination. While you were examining your breast, if you notice any discoloration on the color of your breast, if you notice any discharge from your breast, if you notice an offensive odor from your breast, if you notice an irregular size or a lump in your breast, please do not hesitate to visit your physician. Self-breast examination has been highlighted as an effective means of detecting breast cancer early. If you have benefited from this video, please do not forget to like and share our video. Drop your comments, your questions. We shall attend to it. Thank you for watching this edition on Body Gist. Thanks for always following us on Body Gist. I remain your nurse midwife, Sister Augusta Ozon. Keep following us on Body Gist while we keep giving you healthy gists.